Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. In this episode of OH8STN Ham Radio, we'll be talking about portable power for the ICOM IC705. Many of you have asked about the Power Film Lightsaber Max I use with the ICOM IC705 in the field. So I decided to make a video explaining how to use the Power Film Lightsaber Max along with the ICOM IC705. If you stick with me, I'll tell you all about it. Ironically, both the ICOM IC705 and the Powerfilm Solar Lightsaber Max are exceptional pieces of engineering. It's not difficult to wonder or speculate if either of these products have been manufactured for the other. Now, like other QRP radios on the market, the ICOM IC705 with its own internal battery can power itself to an output power of 5 watts. When utilizing an external power supply, the ICOM IC705 can use its full 10 watts of output power. This is where the Powerfilm Lightsaber Max becomes important. Now, the Lightsaber Max isn't just a solar panel. It also has an integrated lithium-ion battery pack which is probably the most confusing part of the Lightsaber Max. We can think about it this way. The solar panel on the Lightsaber Max charges the internal battery pack, and the internal battery pack powers your equipment. Now, since we'll be using the Powerfilm Lightsaber Max as our external power supply, we want to disable USB charging on the 705. To do that, we're going to go into Settings, then Function, and then scroll down to USB Power Input and make sure that it's turned off. And we do this because there's a small bug in the ICOM IC705 in regards to USB charging. If we're using an external power supply, but we also have a USB cable plugged in and USB charging enabled, we're going to get some noise from that USB input. So let's go ahead and do it again just to make sure you've got it. Go ahead and click Set for Settings. Then go to Function. Scroll down to USB Power Input. And if it's on, turn it off. If it's off, leave it off. Exit Settings and you're ready to go. So Powerfilm doesn't sell a specific set of cables for the ICOM IC705, so I made these cables myself. One thing I wanted to achieve was some cable management when operating out in the field. So I made a parallel cable. The input side is a single Anderson power pole, while the output is a barrel connector for the ICOM IC705 and a second Anderson power bolt connector for whatever other peripheral I might want to connect. Now I also have a second cable which connects to that parallel cable. On one end it has an Anderson power pole and on the other end it has a barrel connector which connects to the DC output port of the Powerfilm Lightsaber Max. Now as far as output ports on the Lightsaber Max, we have one 12 volt output port, 12 volt DC output port with a max of 5 amps on that port. We also have two USB ports. Now before plugging in our cables, we can go ahead and enable those ports by flipping the Lightsaber Max around to the back end, turning on the device and activating the output ports. You'll notice a couple of LEDs behind the USB ports when you activate the device. On the input DC side of the Lightsaber Max, there's a button. We're going to tap that button to enable the DC output ports on the other side of the unit. Then when we're done using the DC output ports, we can go ahead and long press that button again to shut those ports down. Now going back to those cables for a moment, to make them I actually purchased several ready-made cables off of eBay. I chopped those up to make the cables I actually wanted in the configuration that I wanted. 
The reason for doing this was getting a molded, robust, and reliable coaxial plug for the Icom IC705 and the PowerFilm Lightsaber Max. The benefit here is, of course, the molded connector, but also the gauge of the wire. This wire can handle the full 5 amps, which the Lightsaber Max is capable of providing. I'll leave a link in the description for these cables. Now we're ready to plug in the power on the ICOM IC705. We're going to take the barrel connector, the molded barrel connector, and plug it into the 12 volt input port on the left side housing of the ICOM IC705. Now we'll plug the other end of the cable into the 12 volt output socket on the Lightsaber Max. And finally, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and enable the output ports on the Lightsaber Max. Now as you see, I often use the Lightsaber Max with the ICOM IC705 or other QRP radios for rapid deployment scenarios. It's especially useful fat bike portable on the trail or camping when a minimal configuration is preferred. Now, one of the most common questions coming in from Lightsaber Max users is, do I get the full 10 watts output even though the Lightsaber Max outputs 12.5 volts? The answer is absolutely yes. Like many other QRP radios, the ICOM IC705 has a wide voltage input. This means your radio will operate just fine on an external power supply even though that supply might be less than 13.8 volts. As long as your external supply can provide the current required, your 705 will output 10 watts just fine. Now another interesting question coming in was from a user who wants to use two lightsaber mags in parallel. Now there's two reasons we'd want to do this. Firstly, we want to run equipment which has a higher current draw than a single lightsaber max, which is 5 amps. Naturally, when we run two lightsaber max in parallel, we combine the current capabilities of both units for a maximum of 10 amps. Another reason to do this is to increase our battery capacity or our operating time beyond that of a single lightsaber max. Now, for either example, we need to make or purchase a daisy chain or parallel cable which allows the outputs of both Lightsaber Max models to be combined into a single DC output. Now, putting these cables together was pretty straightforward. They're all parallel connections. All you need to do is choose the connectors and length of the cable that you want. Now another question coming in was about the solar panel I use in my Go Kit with the PowerFilm Lightsaber Max. I'm using a 20 watt PowerFilm folding panel to augment the charging of the Lightsaber Max. Now in hindsight, doing this all over again, I would probably go with at least the minimum 30 watt panel or the 60 watt panel, which is a good balance between performance and portability. Now there are also those times when I'm using the dual lightsaber max setup as more of a power bank or power supply out in the field. For this scenario, I split the output of the solar panel I'm using between the DC input ports of the lightsaber max. Now the last question coming in that I think I'll cover today is about operating time with the lightsaber max. Now the only real life test I've done with the Lightsaber Max in regards to operating time was actually out in the field at the off-grid cabin. I was running JS8 call with the 705 at 5 watts, sending out heartbeats every 15 minutes, heartbeat acknowledgements on, auto reply on, heartbeat networking on, and the solar panel remained stowed away. Total operating time for the Lightsaber Max powering the ICOM IC705 with all of its features turned on was about 16 hours. Now that's more than enough time to keep your radio up and running overnight when there's no sun to charge up your lightsaber max. Now I'm sure some operators will get better results, other operators will get worse results, but with my results, 
we have a baseline to compare. Now at the end of the day, each and every radio has its quirks. That's why I made this video for the ICOM IC705. Now since I have the TX500 from Lab599, the X5105 from Zygu and the Yaesu FT817818 series, I can also do videos with the Lightsaber Max for those radios. Now just as a reminder, this video isn't my first on the Lightsaber Max. If you're interested in watching that more generic initial video, I'll leave a link to it in the description and pinned as the first comment. Now for those of you in North America interested in the Powerfilm Lightsaber Max, you can reach out to Powerfilm Solar's web shop or California PC, both of which you'll find links for in the description. For those of you looking for the Lightsaber Max in Europe, it isn't currently being shipped here. However, Powerfilm Solar is planning to kick off exports again and when they do, California PC will be the place to get your Lifesaver Max. In either of those places, you can use my call sign OH8STN for a discount when you're pulling the trigger on your own Lightsaber Max. For much of the other gear you see in my videos, you can check Gigaparts for North America and Pileup DX for the EU. Alright guys, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm sharing, please leave me a comment and a thumbs up to let me know and if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or some place where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll guys, thanks for watching. Ciao.